Hi, this video is a follow-up from the one about making your own templates for gel printing, something that's reusable as well, so you can keep them. And this is the second part, and I did it really because having done the first part of it, I realised that the abstracts could be taken a bit further. One of them I really liked, I'll show you that one. And the other three, abstracts two, three and four, um, I've put a number of different layers on them, so I've reprinted and reprinted them. I think two of them have nine different layers on them. And it's just to show this sort of lovely intricacy that you can build up with the mark making. With marks that you can't really tell which is on top and which is behind. And they talk and interact and have a sort of little dialogue themselves, which is what I really like. And it really reminds me of what it is in nature that somehow speaks to us without words, um, but it involves us in some way, so I hope you enjoy. The video is quite complicated, so if you look in the timestamps below, you can follow individual abstracts through. Just jump to the bits that are involved in each abstract, abstract two, three and four, I don't do number one, That was I just left as it was. Because while I was filming it, each one was done as I could. Some had to be left to dry while I filmed another one. It wasn't filmed sequentially, so it's got a little bit confused. But really, if you follow timestamps and just jump through the bits that you want to see. At the end, there's examples of the finished product, which are, you know, nice. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe. All the best and see you again. Thanks. I'm going to go back to these and to the templates. Right, we've got these beautiful things. I mean, they would be lovely stuck on things as is, wouldn't they? In any case, I'm going to cut another template. So I've got my templates that I've been using, but I also have the leftover bits, which I didn't really use enough. And I'm going to make some nice shapes out of them, I think, and just see what happens if you use them to print. Do you know what I mean? Just, just, just using up all these lovely shapes, really. So I'm just making a few more you know, marks onto things, and I'm trusting my line. I do like that, but I'll cut into that afterwards, I think. I end up with bits like that and I mean do I want more circular things oh well, that is nice you see that's quite nice on there I mean it's just a question of what else do you want and how do you want it but in my sleep I also wanted some fingers I dreamt of the fingers or at least I thought about them when I was half asleep I just realised that I wanted to take those abstracts that we'd done in the previous video a little bit further. I knew they needed more work. I started off using the pink cardboard sheet, a 224 gram sheet, and then realised it wasn't going to be man enough. So moved on to the much better acetate template sheets that I've listed in the description below. They're really, really good. They stick down to the gel plate and they're very reusable. They're pretty durable. I wanted a whole load of shapes, so I created a series of shapes that were gonna enhance the original abstracts, keep to their balance and their rhythm, um, and also respond to my style, which has been sort of established through confidence, so that I now have something that's more or less like my handwriting uh, because it's such a natural part of how my personality dictates the line I make. They sort of are what they are and you learn that confidence, you learn that personality dictates how you draw and the marks that you make and that you just simply have to go with it. So I end up with a number of sheets with different shapes in and lots of little pieces that I can put between with different pieces, nice lines, things that all sort of fit into one another to form interesting mark making series that I can overlay, build up layers on the original abstracts. And I make sure that they're safe in a box file 
so that I can find them when I need them in the future. Go back to your images and think of your colour compositions because they're very earthy, they're very grey. Some of these I love. I don't know whether I can take away from that because I really like that one. Okay, so that's not being... I can... I want the bottom of this one here. I might put something in there, into there. That one really needs working on. And then this one will just be interesting. Right, so here goes. Colour. What colour should I go for? I think I am going to go for a dark blue with a brown in it. Doesn't sound very interesting because I want it to be so earthy. I want it to keep being earthy. So I've got a dark blue, a black, emerald, rust brown and Havana brown. I mean it's just a very dark warm brown but I like it when they mix so that it's not just one colour in the gesture. So I've already mixed it a bit there. Right, put that to one side. Get my plate, which is still not clean. Still haven't got it off. Right, let me see. So I'm gonna take off this and put it on so it's, gosh, that's lovely in itself. So something's happened there already. Right, and then put my templates down. Oops, that's not very good. Let me just take it over. And then I'm just going to try the first print. Let's see. I'm just going to see what happens. something so nice it just works I just enjoy seeing what it does I'm gonna just try a bit of orange in there and a bit of brown I've got orange and brown mixed together and I'm just taking that over and I'm not worried about how flat it is obviously or how perfect it all is I'm letting the paint do what it wants to do now I'm going to take off that template I mean, the template can be used as well. Okay, I'm gonna put that to one side, but I'm gonna get this. And again, I wanna position this. So I'm gonna just put it up like so, and then bring it round and down. Okay. There's tons more on there. There's tons more that can be used, but I don't want it on there anymore. I'm going to try it on there. I'm not too bothered where it goes either. Oh yeah, now that's lovely. I mean, that's gorgeous in itself. do this. So I've transferred the paints back onto the plate, onto the gel plate. I'm going to try it on this one. So I do want to position that one. I don't know what this is going to do, but you see I don't really mind. No, it's not enough. But it's beginning to make marks. What I want to start to do is just add to it, but without sort of sometimes when it's a strong line, I'm not so interested in it. I like it when it builds over shapes because what you end up with something like this is it's obvious, it's evident that one thing is laid upon the other. When the mark is more transparent, you're never quite sure where the marks have come from and how they've got there. So I'm quite interested in that. I'm going to clean this off. Although, sometimes it's nice not to clean it off. I'll have to now. And sometimes it's nice not to clean it off because the colours build and build over a period of time. You know, if you get it before it goes too muddy, it adds to the richness and the colours. So I'm not too worried about it being clean, clean. 
and then of course these are what really should all be left to dry so that you're not just simply pulling it off when you put it back on again right so I've got some nice marks on here I'm not gonna fuss about it I'm gonna get my lovely shapes and try and compose something and it's gonna be odd and we're just doing this experimentally I don't, don't like that one. So there's a little cellophane one there as well. Right, let's see what that does. I'm going to roll over that with colour. And I'm going to go for blue with a bit of brown in it. See, is this the little um, cellophane ones stick down? These don't so much. I'm really not worried about how the ink goes on or anything. It's all going to add to the mark making. The cellophane's still stuck down. The, the, the uh, acetate is still stuck down. I'm going to go for it. As is. No, I'm going to just try it first. No, I'm going to take these off and this is where the, this stuff obviously doesn't work that well because it sticks down. Whereas this, the little bits of acetate work really well. These do work, but nothing like as well as the acetate because the acetate, you know, sticks down onto the gel plate, whereas that doesn't. I wonder if I use that the other way up, it would. Right, let's just see. I'm moving this is going to be lovely. But you just never know, do you? And also, I don't know how dry, because it's so hot there, I don't know how quickly it's dried on the plate. Okay, let's see. Let's see how much it's taken off. And it's just come out too black, hasn't it? It's completely obliterated the green underneath. I can't even remember what was on there now. I had some lovely lettering here, didn't I? So that is just wasn't very nice. The colouring's too bad. The colouring's too dark. I wonder if I just... I do like that. translucent take some of it off there's some lovely brown in there I had this lovely tool I'm just gonna bring back some color into this the temptation is just to bung marks in it but I, you know these simplistic marks and I don't want simplistic marks I'm gonna leave that because I'm gonna let it dry because I'm gonna bring the green back somehow what else have we got I've got this one go for something bold across here and not mucky so I am going to clean this plate I've just got the other little template I just using it to see what's required on this one because I did I've lost stuff on this one so I think I want a shape yeah more like that all down there. So this, these are quite good because you get the chance to decide what you want. So I want that, don't I? I want a shape like that and I can't use that because obviously you ink up round it. But that is right, isn't it? Yeah, so I actually want that shape. So how do you do that? I can't do it, can I? I've only got things like that. So you could do that and that inside as a template and put the two together, couldn't you? So, if I put that down like so, and then get my green, actually I'm going to go for the blue, blue again. Okay, I'll go 
off the blue again. funny shape. So get this. I want it coming down over here. And I didn't position that very well actually. I should have had it slightly off, but in fact that's fine. And now I am going to go for a green. green so just gonna I need some white in there because I don't want to colours up again. So I'm going to hope that that actually takes that off. Let's see what happens. So now you've got two lots on there. I missed all that side. I'm going to do it again because I want that in there. I want that shape. Well, it might be. Let's try again. So you've now got those two sets of colour on there. And I'm hoping it brings it off. I don't quite know how this works. I'm obviously going to have to research this just a little bit longer, aren't I? But of course it is funny, isn't it? It's in the doing. The researching is in the doing, isn't it? And it hasn't lifted it. it. hasn't lifted all of it. All it's done is put a blodge of colour on it, which again is not very really nice. Why is that, folks? What have I done wrong? Is it just because it's drying too quickly? I think what's interesting with this is, is you just go over this. I mean, I can bring a light blue out in this and it's still going to work, isn't it? You just keep going. Right, so I'm going to let these all dry and get myself a light blue or some sort of grey and add some different colour to that. some fine, fine black lines on this somehow. There, you see, like so. So again, I'm going to try and get that on, get these lines onto the plate and then print it with what I've got, basically. I just want these interesting lines around it and I want them to be fine, so that's better, like so. And then I might even put something inside that as well. Um, just like so. So all the lines are fine. And now I'm going to hope that they go down, that it goes down. And I want it black. Or at least a dark green. Okay. I need it to all stick down. lift it, see what happens, see what set of marks that's made. 
and then this last bit. Yeah, well now let's quickly transfer that over before it dries. And again, so, oh, and of course it's the wrong way round, isn't it? I should have done it. Oops, a daisy. This is what I'm supposed to do. just too dry everybody I don't know how to make some beautiful beautiful marks so now I've got that sort of thing clean it off something more interesting than this I like those I've messed up there but it doesn't matter I'll just add to the layers so I think I'm going to bring in some more orange stripes and then I want some a black blue shape so, first of all, the orange stripes. And then, I'm just orange. Sorry about the noise, folks. So, I want to give them a bit of orange and a bit of grey. Okay, let's try that. Take that off. Clay stuff in there. Again, so, the sharp slightly off. Um, yeah, nice. Now this I'm going to leave to dry because I'm, oh, I was obviously being too impatient. And let's just contemplate what's going to be the next bit. So I want another shape in it there. That would be nice. So that that's something inside it, like so again. Or you could put two things inside it like that. I might cut round that. So I'm going to cut round that. I shouldn't have cut round the other one, I've cut round the both now. So I'm going to cut round that one so it would go in like so. And then I want another little bit going in there. So, something like that. Okay, I'm going to cut that out, even though this is awful. So I want that there. Let's see if I can fix that down with something. Because the rest is sticking down. Oh, of course, it's not ready, is it? That was the other side. Let's see if this has gone down. Yeah. Okay, so that is lifting. Far enough. Get when we've got that. I mean, even that's nice. But I want this, I like that blue. So, put the plate back. Clean it off. And create those shapes that I wanted. Was that that there? I think I'm gonna have to round this. I don't particularly want to do because I just ended up with just another of the same sort of template. But I was I wanted more of the thin lines, less of the marks. So let's see there. the dark blue which is what I wanted in the beginning and then I lost confidence because I thought that it was too dark but once it's dry it's lovely sorry about all the mess folks right so I wanted a lovely rich blue I'm just using what's left now because this is the last one but I want it to have some black brown in it and I don't want it just to turn grey right let's try it More blue. I want a bit more purity in it. Try that. Right. Again, if you overroll it, you mix the colours too much on the plate, 
and I want some of the purity in it. So we go. You can clean up any other bits that you don't want. It's a little bit tricky just finding everything. That one in there. And there's those in there. Okay, I like them. Well, I think I do. I don't like that mark up there. It's going to take that off. But I quite like this one down here, yeah? Right, let's try it. Okay, ready? So, let's see where I want it. Just this, I want this to be my last print. Okay, turn it over. Right, this is where you be patient, isn't it? This is where you let it dry. Is this ready to come off? Yes, that'll come off now. Or enough. See, I should have left it longer. It's so annoying. I've got two more. I've got this one to do as well. Okay, so let's think about this one. These are so useful, these templates. Oh, that's really nice. But, of course, I want that one on there. But that's no good, is it? Which is too solid. I like that detail. Isn't that nice? And it would be quite nice something cut out, stuck on, and then printed on top of it as well, wouldn't it? I can print a letter. I'm just putting some paint on a letter. And I don't care that it's upside down. Let's try lifting this one. And let's try and yeah, pick up the pattern underneath. Well, it was sort of try. It wasn't trial and error. I'm going to clean this off again. Right, I'm going to try one more because I like what's happening there. I think that could be interesting. I mean, I quite like that. I'm not sure whether I'm just going to stop there. See, you could go completely bold. I'm not sure I want to. I mean, even a nice green thing would be nice on there. Or even, I mean, you could go pink or red or something, but this isn't, that's not what I want to do with these. Grey would be nice. I wish that had come out better. Maybe if I do another type of mark, sort of in a dark blue and then an, some orange or green. So I really want some sort. I'm just going to put, I'm going to put the gel plate on top of it, like so. Then I'm going to make a mark to go on top of that. So I'm going to use one of my bits again, like this one. And again, I'm going to put all my little bits and pieces on it. I think I haven't lost them. Oh, that's quite nice. So now I'm just constructing stuff to go around it to try and make it work. I think I'm going to try that with the dark blue, dark blue brown. Oh, let's hope this works. I'm going to have to make sure these pieces actually stay down. I want that a little bit translucent. Oh, don't overdo the paint so it's not too thick a layer. Oh, there's a brown dollop in there, but I don't mind that. Why isn't this working very well? I think it's just there's so little paint left on the thing. Let's try and just put it on it. the marks that I've made and if they're a mess I can clean them up a bit. I'm going to leave those messes there, take that off a bit there and take these off, I don't like them. But other than that I'm quite happy. Right now and of course it's the other way around isn't it? I'm not forgetting that. So I might do it that way. Right. Now I've still got this one to do, so I'm going to leave that to dry. Again, I'm going to do something like that on top of this. And I could, like I said, I could just bung red in here, but I don't want to. I feel like a green one would be nice first, and then something like this on top. It's going to be really cheeky, because I'm just too impatient for this. I want a green one for there. So, what have I got that's got a green... Good green shape in the middle. Have I got rid of that? 
you have to ignore what's on the other side and I'm going to put the green one on and then clean it round the edge this is because I'm just too impatient to wait some green blue there I'm getting me with myself here again I used to get told off a lot for this when I was a kid because I like the colours mix actually on the painting. I quite like even that edge, so I think it might keep that. Oh, and another thing, of course I forget. You know, you can go into this with silicone brush, can't you? You forget all these things, don't you? There's so much stuff going on in your head with all this. I mean, you could even get a bit of cotton bud or something, couldn't you? So, I'm now gonna place the other one on top and do two at once because I'm so impatient so I just want it in the middle <laughs> right now I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry I wonder if this one's dried on top let's just see is it gonna pull it off I just being too impatient gosh I'm impatient so it should come off shouldn't it well, it has a bit. And am I not putting enough paint on in the first place, perhaps? I'm sure the other one will have worked. The green one will have worked, because I put loads of paint on that one. I think what I'll do is I'll put some more orange stripes. I like the actual end of them. So let's see. Oh, I do want to. Oh, that's going to be strange, but I'm going to give it a go. I don't care that it's blodgy, do I? That's what I want. If you wanted it smooth, you would have to put the roller, smooth it out, take the damp, you know, the inconsistencies out. But I like them. Right now, again, I want them slightly offset. Oh, I think here's one I'm going to have to be a bit patient. This can come off. Yeah, well, that's coming off enough. Right, and I want this offset on the area. And I can wipe off that green. And again, I didn't wait till it dried. So that's obviously what I'm doing wrong. See, I'm used to printing where you, you don't have to wait till it's dry. You see, that's coming on. I like the build-up of this. I think when there's another black one on there, it'll or even a white one, it would look good. So this time, wait till it dries. So now you're thinking you've got to do it so it's the other way round. Or oh, even a dark brown, because I've got a lot of that left on the thing, but that would look nice on the palette. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that would be nice. And then they both need one more on there. That's part of the problem, isn't it? You try and sort it out that way up, don't you? And it shouldn't be. Oh, an orange would look nice, wouldn't it? I think I might do a brown and then an orange. And bring the stripes back in again. It's a mess at the moment. I might even do that. I'm going to get a light blue. Oh. I'm just going to roll over some of this because so much of this has got lost. gives us some more possibilities. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay, that's coming on. 
So now we've got these two coming on. I'm just going to clean everything up a bit. Change everything over so you can see. Oh, my rollers. of compositions you're getting out of it. Oh, I mean, I do quite like that as it is. I'm not sure whether I shouldn't just leave that. What was I going to do? Put a dark brown on, wasn't I? I was going to put some, a dark brown on one of them. I think the dark brown is going to go on here. Um, there's my plate. Um, I think I want something as big as that. And then put that in the middle. pieces around the outside. Awesome. I think I might just change them over. Oh, I'm more a more unusual bit of god knows where they've gone. But I've got myself in a bit of a muddle, haven't I? I never put anything back. I do like that one. I'm gonna try it like that. Because that can go in there. Right, I'm gonna try rolling this one now. So I've got the brown. enough on its own. Yeah, so that's got a bit of the green in it. Right. This is in fact quite a change from the others. Daisy, better stop there. Okay, let's see how this one works. So let's take it off. I think it's not strong enough colour wise. Uh, was it this one I was going to use? This one. That bottom bit is. But the rest isn't. And I think that white is also still wet. I don't know what's going to happen there. Obviously, you're screaming at me. Let it dry, Louise. Let it dry. And I've messed up there because I moved it all. Okay, let's just wait. I heard someone say you put a book on it to really, really let it dry. And it could be 10 minutes. God, that's just not in my scene. I'd have to have two or three plates. I think I've messed that up. Oh no, it's quite nice. Well, be patient. <laughs> Grasshopper. I'm getting hungry now. off today. I might just put that in the very corner, seeing as it is there. Yeah, I don't mind that actually. There's something about that that's okay. And again, I think 
parts of that are going to be lovely. I don't like this, I don't like that mark there, but I'm going to take that out. I'm going to just see if I can get some really don't like that. Yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, don't mind, because I don't like that. There's best, isn't it? And I am surprised at how nicely these marks work. So again, where are we up to? I mean, I did quite like that, didn't I? I'm going to leave that as that one. So that one's going to stay as it is. And this one, I'm going to put some lettering on the bottom of it in the light blue. So let's just try this an R here. Let's get the blue. I've got blue and green and white on there. Right. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, and that just goes to show as well, that blue's really nice on it, isn't it? I'm going to do the E in the blue and the green and slightly overlapping and just, like I'm not really bothering to cover it all. I want it to sort of... I just love the way it sort of suggests it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I think that's about it. I think I could go on with that, but look, if you go over that, yeah, no, I like that, that's enough. I mean, it, I'm tempted to bring some more stripes down, but it just gives it too much structure. I like the way that it's not quite there. In any case, so I've got four now. I'll show you them all at the end. Well, that took a while, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So I'm finishing off just by showing you the results of all the added layers that I've done over the second video. Um, I hope it's not too complicated and I hope it's of some use. I think it was really worth persevering with more layers. It gives the abstract so much more interest. I hope you like it. I hope you get something from it. And if you do, please remember to like and subscribe. All the very best. See you again.